Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Everything's fine! In here! Everything's fine, no one needs to worry. Um... Memories! Oh boy, secretive! After image. A uh, wrath. Flying horror. Whoa, <laughs> wait a minute! I don't th I don't think I have that many... Scars. Empty. Adventure. Amazing. Massacre. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. Was that the top of Sayori's head I saw? Grief. Oh. Jumpy. Oh. Out. Okay. Okay. Agonizing. Doki doki. Okay. Okay. I don't know who I wrote that for. Hi, Morp. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? No, I'm not. I brought my best PT today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? You must always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing! Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it! It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Morp just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. I'm about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga! <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're going to do together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm going to help too. And we'll make sure it gets done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, more. what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Morp is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just, actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I don't like that. Okay. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure! Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay! You stay here! It won't take long, I have to fill it up with blood! Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Okay. All right, Monica. Okay. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh, that's a mistake. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to go would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp in air like someone is sucking in the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 I didn't see anything! I'm back! Okay! That was weird! 
You rewound time because you didn't want me to see that. Okay, thanks for waiting patiently. Morp, do you like oolong tea? Oh yeah, anything's fine. Very well. You reset the temperature to the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less than when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> in, in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, oh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring tea- WAIT, WHAT JUST HAPPENED?! WHY IS NOT- NO, WHY IS NO ONE TALKING ABOUT THAT?! WHY ARE WE JUST PRETENDING LIKE EVERYTHING'S FINE?! Okay. Yuri fetches the teapot. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. He must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah! That's great, Yuri. That's wonderful. That's really wonderful. Just don't push yourself too much, okay? Okay? Alright, cool. Great. Good. Great. Great. You're always worrying about me, more. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Morp, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Now, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. It's because of my enormous boobs. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... <laughs> my enormous boobs. My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with, well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time. With our thumbs intertwined for passion. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands, not not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's... that's okay, I won't take any. Eh? You sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> uh. A little bit of red in your eyes, I don't like that. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, yee yee! Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a, co a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. <laughs> she doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the cocklet in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Morp? Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah! Welp, that music stopped. Just gotta save on that. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Morp! Suddenly Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Clang! Morp! Uh oh. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Morp! I can't calm down, Morp! I can't focus on anything anymore, Morp! Can you feel it, Morp? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I don't know! Yuri! Why are you doing this? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh, ah, ah, those eyes are not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, no, no. I don't like that. Ooh, ha. Ah, 
Yee. Ah, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Ha. Okay. All right. Well, all right then. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> I got looked at, Monica. Monica. Send your poems. Okay, Monica. Okay. All right. Well, Monica, I got looked at real badly. <laughs> real badly. All right. Morpa, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, <laughs> but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy and spend a little more time with me. <laughs> to put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway. I worked really, really hard in this poem, so I hope that it's, a uh, effective. Here goes. Hey. Uh-oh. DL, uh, DDLC. Escape plan failed. Jeez, that really startled me. Um. Well, I guess I kind of messed up at that, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. <laughs> the poem was code. The poem was code. The poem was code. All right, Natsuki, how are you doing? I don't want to look at Yuri again. I really don't. This one's all right. All right? Yeah, it's at least better than yesterday's. I still can't actually tell how much you really care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anybody but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine for now. Just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Ah, I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts to me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do anything to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Wow. Uh oh. I changed my mind. Uh oh. <laughs> Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me more? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Monica. Just Monica. Just, just Monica. Just, just, just Monica. Just Monica, okay? Okay. Oh, all right. Whoa. Oh, just, just Monica. Whoa. Finally. Yeah, finally. Okay. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. <sighs> ah, I love it. I love everything about it. Morp, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Morp. You're way too nice to me. You shouldn't be this nice to me, Morp. I've never met anyone as nice as you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you haven't. I could die. Not really, but <laughs> I could die. I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem close to her chest. I'm gonna take this home and keep it with me. In my room. I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself for reading it over and over. <laughs> I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Okay! <laughs> oh boy, okay, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Oh, a uh, slender wants tell lebanon cancer's bathe bag octagonopus. Woo -wee! 
is this is this urine? Is that urine? Oh boy, unfaced Kataya. Ooh, urine and blood. I'm pretty sure this is urine and blood. Oh, hey, hi. Oh, whoa. Do I like it? No, I don't like that at all. Your eyes are weird. Hey. No, I wrote it for you. No. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <laughs> I. I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay, all right, see ya! See ya! Yes, no, yes, no. I'm gonna go, yes. Can you hear me? Oh, no. No. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. I cannot hear you. I can't hear you. Where are you? Who are you? What was that? Okay, everyone. Okay, all right. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnation air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, how would I make cupcakes? Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere. So I'm gonna make decorations, set up a nice mood lighting. There, see? It's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Okay, what about Morp? Morp is gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too? What are your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging Morp around with you and your stupid bucks! You and Monica! Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Morp decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Morp make a choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Morp, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just. That's who you shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Okay, hang on. I got to save this one and not that it matters. How about... Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> e. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's... Oh, that's weird, huh? That's weird. You know, Natsuki seems like the only rational one here. I kind of want to go on a date with Natsuki again. Just saying, at least I can expect something sane out of that. Ah. Oh, oh, didn't mean that. Whoa, didn't mean that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, hey, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back, I swear. Uh-oh, okay, all right, well, then, okay, all right, Monica, 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 I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, Monica. Oh, yeah, you picked me, woo, 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 woo. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking more for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Uh-oh. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Morp away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you have to take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial for your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Okay. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuka to the door. Hey, Morp. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, hey. Uh. Hey, Yuri. Finally. <laughs> this is really all I wanted. Morp, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day was just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die here if I'm not breathing the same air as you. 
Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have somebody who wants to resolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong right now. I don't care anymore, Morp. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the gods of his desire anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Morp, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Oh! I want you all to myself. I will only be yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Morp. Tell me you want to be my lover. If you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? God, no. Not on your life. No! No. <sighs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, I can't read any of this. I can't read any of this, so you're just gonna have to assume that I know what I'm talking about here. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna- For some reason, I'm gonna save there. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. Uh-huh, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay, uh-huh, 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 okay, <laughs> alright, great, okay, cool. Uh, 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 what are you saying to me? What does this mean? What is any of this? Does this have any meaning? Is this- What? Is this just like, an endless- Oh no. Oh no. Wait, skip. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's morning. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it goes again. It's evening now. Oh, night time. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well, apparently. Uh, yep. Nope. Yeah, that that is that is what it is. Oh! Oh! Alright, it's fast. What? Whoa, you got here before- what the hell happened?! Thought it was pretty- yeah! Ah. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Morph, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Morph? I sure was. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. I must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Ah! Wait, 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 I'm almost done! I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts a foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just really had to have one since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really should be making- shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This shouldn't take only one second. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, hi. Hello. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Morp. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and um... <laughs> you know, I guess I can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Morp. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, 
Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Okay, well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Morp? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Morp. It's more than that. Yeah, it's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Morp. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. And I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Morp. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Morp, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Morp, will you go out with me? Um, well, all my saves are gone. There's no point in saving this guy. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, you know what? I was gonna say yes anyway. <laughs> what does it matter? Yes. I'm so happy. You look it. You really are my everything, Morp. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I've worked so hard for this ending, Morp. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. <laughs> well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Ooh, okay. Mo Ike. Monke. Uh, uh, Mo Mi. Mo Ika. Oh, nice, uh. Uh, Mo Nick. Uh, Nico. Mo I. Ah. Yoniku. Uh, ma. Ah, ah. Let's see. Mon. Yay. Oni. Ooh. Onika. Okay. Erzika. Anik. Ma kazu. Moikub. Mia. Ua ika. All right. You like my poem? Hi again, Morp. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Morp. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? 
Oh, you know I will. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good come times must come to an end. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, Monica! I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Morp? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh-oh. Um, hi everyone! <laughs> hey everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on spot right now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Yeah! Uh-oh. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some- ah! Did I scare you? Okay. Alright, a little bit. Not much. Ha, <laughs> you're so cute. Anyway, more. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go- I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Um, properties, local files, browse local files. Okay, let's see, characters. First off, let me see what it said in the store page here. What did it say? What did it say in the store page? Hi, Monica here. Ah, yeah. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? No, I will not. No, I will not. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm thinking... Morp, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? Uh, no. It's something I used to think about pretty often. But recently, I think I've actually learned what it feels like. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep, left with nothing but my own thoughts. But after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent jumbled patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing light and screaming, unable to even move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment I don't really exist, but for some reason I can remember it anyway. After some immeasurable amount of time, it stops in an instant and I'm back in my own mind. And you're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit, or why that stuff happens to me. And I also don't know how you always come back and put it everything back to normal. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible, that would be really great. It's really not very pleasant at all to be trapped in that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it, and that makes me feel like you really do care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when you're here with me. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna just delete this. Deletey. Oh! 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 Hey! Alright! Whoopsies! Doodle -doo. What's happening? Morp, what's happened to me? Ooh. It hurts so much. Help me, Morp. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Uh-oh! Did you do this to me, Morp? Did you? Did you delay me? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I kind of maybe did. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. 
everything. I loved you so much more. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Yes. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. Okay. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Morp, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Ah, darkness! Oh, hello! I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I didn't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Morp. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, Then, uh-oh. Bo! Okay! No more Monica! All right there. Hmm, new game. Ah! It's an ordinary day at school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Mark! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Morp, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Oh yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Morp, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really. I start to say what I always do, but I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Huh. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Siori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Okay. Fine by me, I guess. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before you know it. I pack up my things, I stand up, gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk to school, upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Hey! Morp? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? So you're Morp that she already told me talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Morp. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be likely the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Morp, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Siri's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! 
Ah! Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sarah is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we're going to become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise! Hey, <laughs> Gary. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sarah grabs one, then I follow. It's delicious. Sarah talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Huh, that's weird. It's the same thing. I'm gonna save just in case, but... I haven't actually needed to save at all. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I bite down. It's sweet and full of flavor. It's really good. Thank you. Wait, is this just a normal game? Could this- is this really just a normal game without Monica? That can't be right. There's gotta be something else here, right? There's gotta be something else. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. Oh, there's gotta be. Let's see. I don't disagree. Your usual president. I <laughs> guess that means we should try picking up a novel. That would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. That is for Yuri. I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we deserve versify. You should be a little- Oh, we're not writing poems! <gasps> we're reading manga. Or re we're reading books. Kinda hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't even realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks for herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust to me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meetings. Just- just you? Ah, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always want to go alone. Or I always go alone. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hehe. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Morp. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along with it a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Morp. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me that you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Morp. I really... I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hee <laughs> hee. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. Ooh. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Morp. Uh-oh. Hee <laughs> hee. I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now! And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Oh, er. Eh. V. E. Oh, no. Eh? Uh-oh. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Morp. Goodbye, Literature Club. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, ho!
future where I can be with you. Okay. Great. Thank you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Okay. Great. Being closed down into a dark bottle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? Take just to find that special day. Oh, Have I found hey, everybody upon the sign. Oh, that's it. Yeah, wow. Uh oh, Ooh, well, whoopsies. Okay, that's no good. <laughs> good God. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, why is everything going away? Uh oh. Ah, yes, the icing moment. Okay. Ah, yes, a Yuri moment that I never saw. <sighs> Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me? A Sayori moment that I never saw. Huh, interesting. Weird, yeah, I've never seen some of these. Oh, that's so weird. So there are multiple endings? I mean, I feel like it all kind of funnels to this, but there's multiple ways to go about things. Oh, That's so weird. I'm, I'm guessing, like, it really does affect just, like, the way that you go about things in picking the poems for the certain people. That is the choice that you make, and that leads you down these different roads. I mean, obviously, there's way... Thanks to Monica and Morp. Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was awesome! I'm just gonna say that right out the bat, that was awesome! This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature, literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to cramp your hand. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you. For making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Here, script is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Woo! And we're out, baby! We are outy! Oh, it out! It outy! Okay, well, that is the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. Wow. That was awesome. That was really cool. There are so, like, so, so many things to glean from a game that takes a new angle to something like this. Taking the visual novel format and just kind of turning it on its head. That's what makes a game really special, and this is definitely something that was really special. I love this a lot. It had a lot of heart to it, and it had a lot of soul to it, and I'm sure there's tons of different endings. I probably won't play them all, but if you guys want to play it, definitely support this game. It is super cool. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!